Disclaimer, the author does not claim ownership of the documents, images, audio, music, video and other materials used in this lesson. They remain the property of the original creators, who are mentioned in the acknowledgement section of this lesson. The said materials are used for educational purposes only. Thank you very much. Installing and configuring computer systems. MELX, L01, Assemble Computer Hardware, Codes, TLE underscore IACSS 9-12 ICCS IAE 28. Lesson 1, Occupational Health and Safety Policies and Procedures. Content standard, the learners demonstrate an understanding of concepts and principles in installing and configuring computer systems. Performance standard, the learners shall be able to install and configure computer systems based on established procedures and system requirements. Lesson 1, Occupational Health and Safety Policies and Procedures. Objectives, at the end of the lesson 80% of the students will be able to explain the importance of OHS policies and procedures, identify the common hazards encountered by computer technicians and users, and enumerate the 12 OHS procedures for computer system servicing. In this lesson, you will learn the importance of occupational health and safety which is a multidisciplinary field concerned with the safety, health, and welfare of people at work. What's in this module is intended to give you some guidelines and advice on common areas of health and safety problems in the computer industry and to help you gain a general awareness of your responsibilities as a user and technician in a safe environment. What's new, based on the Republic Act number 11058. An act strengthening compliance with occupational safety and health standards and providing penalties for violations thereof. Safety practices should be learned early and always adhered to when working with any electrical device, including personal computers and peripherals. This is for the protection of not only the people working with them, but also for the devices themselves. The basis for this process begins with your occupational health and safety policies. What is it? Occupational health and safety is a planned system of working to prevent illness and injury where you work by recognizing and identifying hazards and risks. Health and safety procedure is the responsibility of all persons in the computer and technology industries. You must identify the hazards where you are working and decide how dangerous they are. Eliminate the hazard or modify the risk that it presents. There are three steps used to manage health and safety at work. Number one. Spot the hazard. Hazard identification. A hazard is anything that could hurt you or someone else. Examples of workplace hazards include frayed electrical cords, could result in electrical shock, boxes stack precariously, they could fall on someone, noisy machinery, could result in damage to your hearing. Number 2. Assess the risk. Risk assessment. Assessing the risk means working out how likely it is that a hazard will harm someone and how serious the harm could be. Whenever you spot a hazard, assess the risk by asking yourself two questions. Question 1. How likely is it that the hazard could harm me or someone else? Question 2. How badly could I or someone else be harmed? Number 3. Make the changes. Risk control. 
it is your employer's responsibility to fix hazards. Sometimes you may be able to fix simple hazards yourself, as long as you don't put yourself or others at risk. For example, you can pick up things from the floor and put them away to eliminate a trip hazard. Common hazards encountered by computer technicians and users. A hazard is a situation in the workplace that has the potential to harm the health and safety of people or to damage plant and equipment. The situation could involve a task, chemical or equipment use. Hazard management is a continuous process that can be used to improve the health and safety of all workplaces. Physical hazards One of the most common physical hazards involving computer technicians is cables running across the floor. If someone trips, falls, and hurts himself because of a cable you ran across the floor, someone, you, your employer, or your customer, has a serious legal negligence problem. If you need to temporarily run a cable across the floor, place a danger sign similar to those wet floor signs used by cleaning services. Mechanical hazard, when working on electronic equipment, ask yourself, is there any way this equipment could hurt me? You might stick your hand in a printer and suddenly the paper feed arm moves, feeding not only paper through the printer, but a piece of your finger too. You might move your hand past a computer chassis and lose a chunk of flesh because it is razor sharp. When working on electronic equipment, always be alert to any possibility of being hurt by moving parts, hot components or shock. Chemical hazards, there is a wide array of chemicals used with electronic equipment. There are display cleaning chemicals, keyboard cleaning chemicals, compressed gas dirt and dust removers, and many cleaning solvents. Some of these chemicals can be harmful if accidentally swallowed, get on bare skin, or get in the eyes. Before using any chemicals for electronic equipment, always read the warnings and instructions on the label. Also be very careful when dealing with inkjet printer cartridges. Oh. Electric shock hazard. Inside computers and electronic equipment, there is a range of voltages from 3.3 volts to 25 volts. Most of these are harmless. But at the power supply, you'll find line voltage, which is a lethal 220 volts. Most of the time while working inside computers and electronic equipment, you'll want them unplugged from the wall socket. If you need to work on equipment while it is still plugged in or powered up, remove all jewelry and wrist watches. Twelve Occupational Health and Safety Procedures for Computer System Servicing Number 1. Do not work alone so that there's someone who can take care of you in case of an emergency. Number 2. Always power off the computer and unplug the computer before working on it. Number 3. Take away any liquid near your working area to avoid getting electrocuted or accidentally damaging computer parts. Number 4. Be careful with tools that may cause short circuits. Number 5. Always ground or discharge yourself before touching any part of the computer. Number 6. Do not use excessive force if things don't quite slip into place. Number 7. Clean the area before and after using it to maintain sanitation and prevent accidents. Number 8. Hold the components on the edges and do not touch the integrated circuit and IC parts. Number 9. Always wear personal protective equipment PPE, in accordance with the organization's OHS procedures and practices. Number 10. Make sure that the pins are properly aligned when connecting a cable connector. Number 11. Contingency measures during workplace accidents. 
fire and other emergencies are recognized. Number 12. Use brush, compressed air, or blower in cleaning the computer system. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell icon. And also don't forget to like, comment and share. See you next time. Keep safe, and God bless.